gospel minister Moses Bliss and will I say his ex record label Saini Eboka songs recently had a clash of shows and have been dragged mercilessly on my comment section by people saying that I'm trying to propagate hate between the two brethren. I'll be addressing those assumptions and also telling you guys to pray for this gospel artist and also put them in God's hands. This and more we'll be discussing in this video. You're welcome to my channel. I'm Ami React. Over here, I do just I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do well by liking the video. Kindly do well by subscribing to the channel. Um, you know, sighing heavily because I cannot believe that there are people who actually think or assume in their heart that I actually want to pull Ibuka songs down. It's so sad to hear that, but it is fine. I'll be addressing them in this video. I remember me doing a video and asking Ibuka songs that ah, ah, what happened? Why will you, you know, post or will I say schedule uh, a concert on the same day your ex boss scheduled a concert also? It doesn't speak well of you and it also doesn't speak well of your ex boss because people will start building assumptions people will start building hearsay they say and as a gospel artist i don't think you need assumptions like that but there are some people who just took that out of out of you know context and said i was trying to bring evoca songs down those people said i'm trying to bring evoca songs down where we are they when Ebuka songs came out, granted an interview and did not speak so well of Moses Bliss in that interview. Yet I stood and said, Oh, let me give him this benefit of doubt that he said this for this reason, he said that for that reason. It will not be held on my own account that my platform was used to propagate division. No. If you have been watching me for a long time, you will agree with me that I'm one person that I always preach peace. I always preach love. I always preach unity in the body of Christ. I'm one person that will always tell gospel artists that it is not about you. It is not about me. It is about the message of Christ that is being preached through the platform. But if um, some callous people are assuming things that I want to pull Ibuka songs down because I told him, that putting a show on the same day your your ex boss you know has already scheduled his own show is not bad and will not look good on the body of christ is mean trying to pull a book of songs down well i have a solution to that because my platform will never be you know be considered as one that want to bring division in the body of christ so because of that i'll try my possible best to avoid talking about Ebuka song and Moses Bliss in the same video except something else happens in the future except by God's grace they reconcile or something important happens maybe that's when I can put the both of them in a video because I will not under my own watch allow people believe or people assume that my channel is trying to propagate hatred God forbid that is not my goal here. That would never be my goal. And I will never allow anybody carry that wrong narrative about me or my channel. Now, to the gospel ministers, Evoca songs invited to that concert. I believe you are all experienced men of God. You are all experienced gospel artists. I also plead with you that in your private times, pray about this speak to god about it what is god saying because i believe um as human beings we are not perfect there are times we might do things or we might say things that we are not just so so sure of but we do that because our flesh is the one speaking i want you guys to think about it how would you feel if your someone you mentored or your trainee 
puts a concert on the same day you kept yours. If you won't feel bad, then it's fine. You can continue with it. But if you feel bad, I would say talk to him and you know give him reasons to see why the concert should not be fixed on the both days. But at this point, it's now left to those involved. I'm just a blogger. Just give me my opinions. I cannot tell you how to live your life, how to do your ministry, or how to do God's work. And not just that, um, I want to quickly pray for Ebuka songs and Moses, please. That God will give them peace. God will give them rest. That the devil will never use on the account of, of any one of them to propagate mischievousness in the body of Christ. That the plans of the devil over these two people, because I know when Moses Bliss and Evoca songs were a, a, a deal, when I say deal, like when they were together, the amount of power and unction they were commanding. So that power and unction they commanded, the people, the administrations brought to Christ, the devil would never use them to take them back to the world. The Lord will settle them. He will give them peace. He will give them rest. Whatever might have happened between them, I don't know. But I pray that God Almighty, who sees what happens in the secret, will definitely settle them and give them peace and rest. And that later on, we will definitely hear good news about their relationship. And not just that, um, I really want to thank you all for your support. For your encouragement for the love for the comments every good thing those of you subscribing to my channel those of you liking my videos those of you joining my membership those of you super chatting me i really want to say thank you so much god bless you if you're watching this video please make sure you send an invite to anybody around you friends well wishers that you know that lives in abuja Tell them to make sure they attend Moses Bliss live in Abuja and also Ebuka's songs um, concert in Abuja. Like they said, the sky is big enough for everybody. It's fine. It's okay. But I still maintain it's not about the sky being big enough for everybody. Gospel ministry is not a competition. We are all here for one purpose, which is propagating the word of God bringing souls converting many unto christ but my lovelies feel free to drop your opinions in the comment section um do well to like the video do well to subscribe to the channel and drop your heartfelt opinion in the comment section may god give you peace may god give you rest may god you know settle everything around you this is just me clearing up some assumptions that some people had over my previous video and then saying that the wrong narrative will not be passed across through my platform thank you